Good morning, dear students. My name is Dr. Karim. Uh, this is the first lecture in e-learning by this course for international accounting. I explained in the previous lecture inside the Faculty of Management in Chapter 1, Introduction to International Accounting. We studied in the Chapter 1, Introduction to International Accounting as the following, which is the following. Define of international accounting. هرفنا إيه معنى كلمة what is the meaning of international accounting? The international accounting that means it is a branch of accounting and includes a range of assumptions and guideline principles and criteria used in how to recording, how to measuring, and how to analyzing foreign currency. And I explained the importance of international accounting and the the objectives of international accounting. And the reasons for arising the international account. And I explained in chapter 2 uh, exchange rate and accounting for foreign currency transaction uh, transactions. Uh, we studied in the chapter 2 exchange rate and accounting for foreign currency transactions as the following, which following define of exchange rate, distinguish between the types of exchange rate. Uh, define of uh, the foreign currency transactions and uh, the, um, uh, the types of uh, foreign currency transactions, uh, the problems arising uh, from the foreign currency transactions, uh, and uh, the differentiation between completed transaction and extended transactions, and the, imposed, uh, and the most important accounting problems relating to transactions carried out by the multinational companies. This is the theoretical part for the chapter one and chapter two. And I explained in the last lecture in chapter two, accounting for foreign currency transaction by practical part in sales and purchases for, uh, sorry, by accounting for, for uh, by accounting for foreign currency transaction طبعا شرحت ان سيادتك السيلز والبرشيسز اللي هي متعلقة related السيلز والبرشيسز والدوكومنتري كريدت بالنسبة لذيس شابتر in chapter 2 accounting for foreign currency transactions today we are going to take in chapter 3 accounting for forward exchange rate contracts what is the meaning of the forward exchange rate contract what is the meaning of the forward exchange rate contract. The definition of the forward exchange rate contract, that means the forward exchange rate contract can be defined as an agreement to buy or sell a foreign currency to be received at a later date and at a predetermined price called forward exchange rate contract. يبقى that means يبقى معناه الكلام ده in English what is the meaning of the forward exchange rate contract can be defined as an agreement to buy or sell a foreign currency to be received at a later date and at a predetermined price called forward exchange rate contract ده سعر بيتم الاتفاق عليه الآن وده بيتم التبادل بين عملتين في تاريخ محدد في المستقبل وده بيعبر عن سعر تعاقدي متفق عليه بين مشتري العملة الأجنبية والبايع لهذه العملية وبيتم التبادل في تاريخ لاحق لتاريخ الاتفاق يبقى الـ forward exchange rate in English that means is the price that be agreed upon now to be exchanges between the two currencies on a specific date in the future it is the price of an agreed contract between the foreign currency seller and the buyer of this currency to exchange at a later date. تمام؟ طيب. Today I will talk about this problem by accounting for forward exchange rate contracts. This problem in example one. At 1 September 2017, what happened? A Salam company imported goods imported goods that means this is purchases goods or purchases the inventory of two thousand dollar from usa and agreed to pay the amount due on 1 october 2017 at the day of transaction in 1 september 2017 what happened the company contracted with the ahli bank to offer the required dollars 
on 1 October 2017 to be able to pay its payable. بيقول سيادتك ان شركة تستورد بضاعة من امريكا وطبعا قيمة البضاعة تمنها 2000 دولار وبعد كده راح راح الشركة راح البنك الشركة راح راح عمل كونتراكت مع البنك الاهلي عشان يوفر له دولارات وبعد كده هيدفع الفلوس بعد شهر. The exchange rate summary 1 سبتمبر 2017 ال1 دولار ايكوال ويتش ايجيبشن باوندز 13.40 ايجيبشن باوندز كونتراكت اكستشينج ريت ات 1 سبتمبر 2017 ال1 دولار ايكوال 13.45 اند الاكتوال اكستشينج ريت ات 1 اكتوبر 2017 ال1 دولار ايكوال 13.6 ايجيبشن باوندز باي باي ذيس ان ريكوايرد Journalize entries the previous transactions. B. From your point of view, do you think that the Ahly Bank may suffer losses due to the forward contract, and why? Explain the benefits of the forward exchange contract and discuss the accounting adjustment associated with them. طبعا the summary for this problem. The summary. I have purchases. Or I purchased by the inventory by American dollar, then I need dollars and I will pay in the future. يبقى كده معناه إذا سامري محتاج إن حضرتك أنت اشتريت بضاعة بالدولار محتاج دولارات وهتدفع الفلوس بعدين in the future. ده الفكرة بتاعت ال this problem إن سامري for this problem. I purchased the inventory by American dollar. Then I need dollar, and I will pay in the future. For now, how to recording in the journalize entry? How journalize entries, schedules, date, items, debit, credit. If you have a table, you have four column: date, items, debit, and credit. You purchased the inventory in dollar, but not paid by cash. You purchased. Why you purchased? No, we will have Islam Company. This is imported goods. Imported goods. That means this is you a purchases the goods. With purchases in accounting in nature, this is debit or credit. This is by debit. Purchases in debit. And a b a. And بعد كده after, but not paid by cash. But not paid by cash. يبا but not paid by cash. This is a accounts. That means this is accounts. If you purchase the inventory and not paid by cash, if for then, if for now, how to recording in the journalized entry purchases in by debit and by credit accounts payable. It here that means a U.S. company. The explanation entry purchases goods on credit. In one September 2017, the one American dollar, which Egyptian pound 13.4. Then for now, you need to make the transfer. From American dollar to Egyptian pounds, the two thousand dollar multiply thirteen point four equal twenty six thousand and eight hundred by debit and by credit twenty six thousand and eight hundred by Egyptian pounds. In other words, this is journalized entry by Egyptian company. In this is Salam company. Salam company that means this is Egyptian company will exchange rate by Egyptian company LE. يبقى كده حضرتك هنا for this journalized entry you need to make the transfer from American dollar to Egyptian pounds. The second entry in the same date uh, in the same day what happened the company contracted with the Ahly Bank to offer the required dollars. يبقى يبقى for now how to recording in the journalized entry يبقى يبقى الشركة هتعمل contracted with the Ahly Bank. The contracted with the Ahly Bank the exchange rate. The one dollar equal which Egypt which Egyptian pounds thirteen point forty five thirteen point forty five. But then, for now, you need to make the transfer from American dollar to Egyptian pounds. But for now, you need to make the transfer from American dollar to Egyptian pounds. Which Egyptian pounds? If at two thousand, the 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 purchases of the inventory two thousand dollar multiply. Thirteen point forty-five equal twenty-six thousand and nine hundred Egyptian pounds by credit. The accounts payable. تعال بقى نشرح الكلام ده. بيقول السيادتك إن الشركة خلاص راح عمل راحة البنك عمل كونتراكت مع البنك عشان يوفر له دولارات. فبالتالي يبقى الشركة عليها فلوس وليها فلوس. 
عليها فلوس مصري ان هي هتدفع الفلوس للبنك وليها فلوس من ال... وليها فلوس عند البنك ايه دولارات فهنقولها ان انجلش طبعا ان ذا سيم ان ذا سيم داي يو ويل ميك يو ويل ميك تو كونتراكت ويز ذا بنك بيكوز يو ويل نيد ذا امريكان دولار فروم ذا بنك ان ذا سيم داي يو ويل ميك تو كونتراكت ويز ذا بنك بيكوز يو ويل نيد ذا امريكان دولار فروم ذا بنك يبقى that means you will pay the money in the bank by uh, Egyptian pounds from the point of view for this company. Yeah, that means the accounts payable, and you will collect the money in the bank by American dollar. Yeah, that means the accounts receivable. يبقى then I will pay by Egyptian pounds. Yeah, that means the accounts payable, and I will receive by American dollar. Yeah, that means the accounts receivable. The accounts payable. طبعا لما يبقى عليها فلوس accounts payable in nature بتاعها by credit and accounts receivable by debit طبعا ده from the point of view من وجهه نظر ايه بقى هنا من from the point of view uh, for this company هنا accounts payable اللي هي that means this is the bank وال accounts receivable اللي هي that means this is a the bank يبقى كده معناه معنى الكلام ده that means ان هي هتدفع الفلوس you will pay the money in the bank by Egyptian pounds اللي هي that means ال accounts payable which value by Egyptian pounds او 2000 multiply 13.45 equal 26900 and you will collect the money in the bank by American dollar اللي هي that means ال accounts receivable which value by Egyptian pounds اهو طبعا محتاج دلوقتي you need to make the transfer from American dollar to Egyptian pounds يبقى 2000 دولار multiply او at the same day of transaction in 1 September كام كان uh, 1 دولار equal which Egyptian pounds 13.4 يبقى 2000 multiply 13.4 equal A26,800 Egyptian pounds يبقى contracted يبقى حضرتك contracted with the bank باي ايجيبشن باوندز 26900 ايجيبشن باوندز والان الاكونتس ريسيفابل اللي هتطلع الفلوس اللي حضرتك هتسلمها يو ويل كوليكت ذا ماني ان ذا بنك باي امريكان دولار ويتش ايجيبشن باوندز 26900 ايجيبشن باوندز ذا ديفرنس بتوين ذيم اللي هي ذات مينز ال100 بنسميها ذات مينز ذيس از ذا بريميوم البريميوم الديفرنس بتوين ذيم البريميوم اللي هي ذا بينيفيت اوف ذا بنك The benefit of the bank. Yeah, that means this is the premium. The difference between them is 100. The explanation: forward contract with the Ahly Bank. After one month, بعد شهر طبعا. After one month, in one October, what happened? After one month, actual exchange rate in one October 2017, the one dollar equal 13.6 Egyptian pounds. يبقى what happened for now it changes the it changes of exchange rate from 13.4 to 13.6 يبقى what happened the it changes of exchange rate from uh, from 13.40 ل in one September after one month to the one dollar equal 13.6 ل ال a in one October 2017 يبقى from the point of view of this company يبقى this is loss or profit this is loss why loss and what happened ان بيقول لي سيادتك ايه اللي حصل increases of the exchange rate and not paid by cash يبقى ايه اللي حصل ان هو بيقول لي سيادتك ان حصل هنا increases the increases of the exchange rate and not paid by cash يبقى increases of the exchange rate and not paid by cash يبقى this is from the point of view for this company this is loss well loss in nature This is debit or credit. The loss in nature. This is by debit in the journalized entry. If in the journalized entry, the loss. This is by debit. If in the journalized entry, you will write by the third transaction in one October after one month. This is loss. Why loss? This what happened for the exchange rate increases from 13.40 to 13.60. This is loss. From بالنسبة ل from the point of view for this company loss and the profit of exchange rate by debit وعملها closing by credit in accounts payable why accounts payable نبي لك and not paid until now we only said that in what happened increases of the exchange rate and not paid until now and not paid until now that means this is accounts payable accounts payable from the point of view by U.S. company 
اكاونتس بيبل نوع الفلوس المفروض ان انت عليك فلوس لما سعر الصرف زاد هنا هيبقى عليك فلوس الاكاونتس بيبل لمين للشركه الامريكيه فطبعا اللي بقى شكل الانتري يبقى ذا يبقى هاو تو ريكوردنج ان ذا جورنالايز انتري لوس اند بروفيت اوف اكسشينج ريت باي ديبت اند باي كريدت ان اكاونتس بيبل ان اكاونتس بيبل باي يو اس كومباني Explanation increase in exchange rate by American dollar. Which Egyptian pounds? How to recording by Egyptian pounds? The difference between them from 13.4 to 13.6 0.2 multiply 2000 equal 400. تمام؟ طيب. Loss and the profit exchange rate. This is debit for now. You will need to make the closing entry by the loss and the profit exchange rate. يبقى again. Loss and the profit of exchange rate. كده يا جماعة أو كده يا شباب. Loss and the profit of exchange rate. This is by debit. محتاج تعمل. You will need to make the closing entry. You will need to make the closing entry. The closing entry by the loss and the profit of exchange rate. يبقى loss and the profit exchange rate. This is by debit. يبقى لما تيجي تعمل لها. You need to make the closing by credit. يبقى loss and the profit of exchange rate and buy a buy credit. وعمل a buy credit and I carried the debit on the bank. I and sorry and I carried the debit on the bank. حمل الفلوس دي على البنك بعد كده. لما يحمل الفلوس دي على البنك how to recording in the journalized entry and I carried the debit on the bank by the accounts receivable. يبقى يبقى لما تيجي تعمل ايه بقى journalized entries by closing loss and the profit Um, loss and the profit exchange rate. You have to closing loss and the profit exchange rate. Loss and the profit of exchange rate. This is by credit. Why by credit? And then loss and the profit exchange rate. This is debit. A. You need to make a. Hadrak bitamil. You need to make the closing entry. Loss and the profit of exchange rate by credit. And I carried the debit on the bank by the accounts receivable. Which value by Egyptian pounds in 400? Oh, closing. Now, the explanation for this entry: closing loss and the profit exchange rate, which date in one October. Tamam. After this transaction, in the same day in one October, what happened of the exchange rate in one dollar equal thirteen point six? Oba iba you received the dollar. What happened for this transaction? You received the American dollar from the bank, and you paid by Egyptian pounds in the bank, and you paid by American dollar in the U.S. company. You be hadratak fi talat hajat. You have three transactions. You be you have three transactions. Very important. You received the American dollar from the bank at at one October, and you paid by Egyptian pounds in the bank at what at 1 October and you paid by American dollar in the US company at 1 October. If for now, how to recording in the journalized entries? Oh, if I accounts receivable. If I you received the American dollar from the bank. If after this transaction in the same day 1 October, you receiving you receiving the American dollar. If you receiving the American dollar from the bank, that means the accounts receivable. Accounts receivable. This is by debit. يبقى ايه يبقى for now you closing by credit which closing by foreign currency يبقى for now how to recording in the journalized entry by receive foreign currency foreign currency by debit and by credit accounts receivable which value by Egyptian pounds you need to make the transfer from American dollar to Egyptian pounds 2000 multiply the last price or the uh, the last price of the exchange rate, which exchange rate 13.6. You bet 2000 multiply 13.6 equal for uh, equal which Egyptian pounds 27, which value by Egyptian pounds 27,200 by debit and by credit 27,200 by credit. After this transaction. You receiving the American dollar from the bank. You paid by Egyptian pounds in the bank. يبقى استلمت دولاراتك هتدفع الفلوس اللي عليك مصري. يبقى you paid by Egyptian pounds in the bank. 
يبقى فور ناو هاو تو ريكوردنج ان ذا جورنالايز انتري اهو اكونتس بيبل اللي انت بتدفع يو بيد ذا يو بيد باي ايجيبشن باوند ان ذا بانك الكونتراكتد اكونتس بيبل باي كريدت لما تعمل لها يو نيد تو ميك ذا كلوزنج باي باي ديبت اكونتس بيبل اللي هي ذات مين ذيس از بانك وايه ذا بيمنت تو الاهلي بانك ذيس ايه يبقى ايه باي كاش يبقى هاو تو ريكوردنج ان ذا جورنالايز انتري يبقى يو بيد باي كاش يبقى الاكونتس بيبل ذيس از ان نيتشر باي كريدت يبقى يو نيد تو ميك ذا كلوزنج انتري ان باي ديبت كلوزنج باي ان كريدت ان كاش ان بيقول لي سيادتك ان انت هتدفع ايه بقى خلاص ايه ذا بيمنت تو الاهلي بانك ويتش فاليو باي ايجيبشن باوند You need to make the transfer from American dollar to Egyptian pounds. It two thousand multiply the contract with the bank. Can the contract that you made with the bank be contracted with the bank with the Ahly Bank? Which value by Egyptian pounds? The one dollar equal which value by Egyptian pounds? Thirteen point forty-five. Thirteen point forty-five. If at two thousand multiply thirteen point forty-five equal twenty-six thousand and nine hundred. Egyptian pounds by debit and by credit twenty six thousand and nine hundred. After this transaction, you paid by American dollar in the U S in the U S A company. If you paid, had to pay the money to the American company. You paid the American dollar in the U S A company. If then, how to recording in the journalized entry in the in in the same day in one October. Ah. الاكونتس بيبل باي يو اس كومباني ذيس از باي كريدت يبقى يو نيد تو ميك ذا كلوزنج انتري ان باي ديبت يبقى الاكونتس بيبل ان يو اس كومباني وكلوزنج باي فورين كارنسي ذا بيمنت تو يو اس كومباني ويتش فاليو باي ايجيبشن باوندز يو نيد تو ميك ذا ترانسفير فروم امريكان دولار تو ايجيبشن باوندز 2000 ملتيبلاي ذا لاست برايس اوف ذا اكسشينج ريت 13.6 Equal twenty seven thousand and two hundred Egyptian pounds by debit and by credit twenty seven thousand and two hundred and two hundred by Egyptian pounds. If as this, if as with respect to three transactions, this is very important. The first transaction, you receiving the American dollar from the bank. After this transaction, you paid the Egyptian pounds in the bank. After this transaction, you paid the American dollar in the USA company. The last transaction, closing premium. You need to make the closing premium. Premium. This is by debit. Tamila, you need to make the closing by credit. This is premium in by debit. You need to make the closing by credit in income summary. If how to recording in the journalized entry the last the last the last transaction in premium closing. You need to make the closing premium income summary in debit and by credit premium which number. One hundred in debit and one hundred by credit. This is in number one by required. The first required journalize the previous transaction. The second required from your point of view. Do you think that El Ahly Bank may suffer losses due to the forward contract and why? El Ahly Bank will not suffer direct losses due to the contract as on the spot he agrees upon the forward contract. It likely obtained the forward currency prior to the date of contract, meaning that of less rate that stated in the contract. But it may unlikely suffer an indirect loss if, at delivery date, the rate of foreign currency decreased below the contract date. That situation is not common to occur in the normal course of a secret. Circumstances, circumstances. اللي هي الظروف اللي العادية. Circumstances. ده number B اللي هو طبعاً بيشرح لسيادتك هنا اللي من وجهة نظر إن هو بيقول لك from the point of view do you think the Ahly Bank may suffer losses due to the forward contract and why? Or this is the solution number B. Number C. Explain the benefits. Be sure to give you the benefits. What is the the benefits of forward exchange rate contract and discuss the accounting adjustment associated with them. Our benefits. You have two benefits: the availability of for of foreign currency on demand at the due date and elimination of the burden of vast increase on the required foreign currency rate. 
وهنا الفور ده البينيفيتس بتاعت الفورورد اكستشينج ريت والفورورد هنا اكستشينج كونتراكتد كان جنريت تو تايبس يو هاف تو تايبس باي ادجستمنتس فور بروفيتس اور لوسز اوف فورورد اكستشينج كونتراكتس اند نمبر تو ذا بريميوم اور ديسكاونت ده بيقول لك هنا كان بيشرح لك هنا الجزء المتعلق في ال A B and C بس very important for this problem number one the journalized entries the previous transactions. يبقى for me this is I explain in this chapter I explain in this chapter or I discuss in this chapter three accounted for forward exchange rate contracts. Thank you very much.